Do you like droids? Do you like fighters? Well, you've come to the right place. I have got something perfect to show you today. Well, hello there everyone, Delta One here, uh, and we've got something a little bit different for you on the channel today. I've got a ship showcase. So in these types of videos, I'll be highlighting a series of different ships that have a similar theme. And as you can see from the ones behind me, today we are going to be highlighting droid fighters. We may be a little bit late for May the 4th, but hey, better late than never. In this case, my criteria for selection was that the only addition to the fighter had to be the droid wing. And so I've got five of these guys, like the ones behind me, to show you today. All the ships are going to be in the Euclid galaxy, so it's the starter galaxy, and the glyphs are going to appear on the bottom left of your screen as we go through each one. So before we get started, please hit that like button, the subscribe button, and the notification if you like the content. It really helps the channel and it helps other folks find these awesome ships. I really, really appreciate it. With that, let's take you on a journey and look at each one of these ships. Alrighty, let's go ahead and get started. The first ship we're going to look at today is the 85 Ayosuke. I'm not sure I'm saying that right, but hey, we're giving it our best shot here. Now this ship may seem a little eclectic at first, but she's hiding some style in there, I think. The basic configuration, as you can see, is a barrel nose with a triple thruster in the back, and obviously uh, she's got droid wings. She's also got a white main body with yellow wings and red highlights. Now what may seem gaudy at first is really, I think, panache. <laughs> the ship actually reminds me of the fighters that Anakin and Obi-Wan used at the beginning of Episode 3. But even if you're not a Star Wars fan, this ship reeks, and I mean reeks, of confidence and diligence. Just like that little companion you're going to have there on your wing, it absolutely gets the job done. And just in case, the red, white, and yellow weren't enough for you. She's got a little splash of green here with the 9 decal on the side. So hey... Any interloper or traveler who has this ship will absolutely be strutting their stuff. Moving on, I've got a question for you. Does your country rock the red, white, and blue? And you're feeling particularly patriotic today? Or do you just love red, white, and blue? Either way, I've got the ship for you right here. Our second ship is the Manu LM-1. And the only thing she wants is freedom. She's got the same configuration as our last ship, with the barrel nose and the triple thruster, but that's where the similarities stop. This ship is a statement piece. This ship is a head turner. With the faithful little companion at your side, you'll be blasting freedom in every system you go to. It's a whirling storm of charisma and determination. You know, she feels like the kind of ship that chooses you and I don't think it's the other way around. So if you're lucky enough for this ship to pick you as her pilot, I guarantee you're going to be happy. <laughs> At the very least, you'll be spreading righteous freedom across the iteration. Okay, so you're not a fan of barrel noses. No problem, no problemo. I've got a very different ship for you here. The Soaring Claws J-01. While the sky obviously still rocks the droid wings, it has a long nose with a box thruster now at the back. So I guess my question for you guys here is who names these things? Like the nose might be long, but this bad boy is a hot rod. And there's no mistaking that. I mean, she just looks fast. While this may generally be dangerous going fast, you know, lots of asteroids, planets, fauna, flora in no man's sky, no worries. You've got your little droid buddy here on your right to help you navigate, so it has to be safe, right? <laughs> With its neon blue, yellow rear, and the steel-colored chrome, which I really like that touch there, this ship looks like something, I would say, out of Tron. And I realize we're kind of mixing our sci-fi tropes here, just a little bit, but bear with me. This ship looks like controlled chaos, which kind of captures part of the essence of Tron. 
it looks like it has just enough stability to feel that thrill while maybe, maybe not dying. Another way to look at it is if Daft Punk owned a ship, you just found it in No Man's Sky. So buyer beware here, the ship comes with perhaps a mind of its own, but if you're in this for the ride of your life, look no more. You've just met your match. Alrighty, so you like hot rods, huh? <laughs> good, 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 because I've got another one for you right here. Number four on our list is this guy, the Matanaza Seeker 19. She may look a little bit like Christmas with all that red and green, but that's just because this ship is so damn giving. <laughs> What's great about this guy is that single thruster in the back. Is it the best engine in the game? Maybe? Probably? <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> it absolutely is the best engine in the game. The lines of the ship flow very naturally with the pipes on that thruster. She also has a pop of red on the nose that ties the front of the ship very cleanly to the back. To top it all off, you have your little droid elf with you wearing a green hat to boot right up your right hand window. So if this ship's generous spirit calls to you, prepare to spread some cheer. Or maybe destruction. Dealer's choice. And finally, we have here the Green Machine at number 5, or as she's better known to those in the verse, the BY-4 Nahem. One of the things we're always looking for in No Man's Sky is that one-of-a-kind ship, something to fly into the anomaly that grabs attention. I don't know about you guys, but I think green is an absolutely underrated color in No Man's Sky, at least in my opinion. I personally don't see as many players with green ships, and... I find that to be criminal. So I guess I'm saying that this eco-warrior of a ship is unique. If Mother Gaia could have crafted a ship to showcase nature with overwhelming elegance, this is it. The ship has a viper nose, which is a personal channel favorite, and the glorious single thruster at the back. The details on this ship are exquisite, with the blue number one on the side and the white and blue rising delta decals on the wing and the nose. This ship, it, it pops in all the right places. And that splash of yellow with the highlights on the thruster ring and the droid really complete the overall look. So, whether you want to stand out, enjoy monocolors, or just really, really love recycling, this ship has something for you. And I think it makes a worthy addition to any fleet. Alrighty, thanks for watching guys. I hope you really enjoyed it. Let me know what you think of this type of video style in the comments below. I have a series on Raza Fighters. I have just about ready to go that I can do for folks if you are interested. Uh, if you want to do single ship highlights, that's also fine by me. And either way, I really hope that you come out and pick up one of these ships. <laughs> Let me know what you think. And until next time, I'll see you guys out there in the verse. Have a good one, my friends.